Hi, welcome back to Fruitful Minutes. Today we're diving into part four of our connective tissue health series, and we're talking about bone broth. So Dr. Kelly, I feel like the collagen and the bone broth, they're becoming like both equally as popular and they do have some similarities, but there's a lot of differences too. Can you help break us break down what those differences are? Yeah. So there's a, a like a lot of people I think are confused and they're doing both. Um, but bone broth and collagen are very similar products. Uh, with bone broth, you're getting a lot of collagen. You're also getting mineral content. So that's where the difference is. So oh, in bone broth, okay. you're getting mineral content from the bones and the collagen from the bones. Okay. Whereas the collagen powders, you're just getting collagen. And it's just the collagen powder is just a more concentrated way to take it. And it's just absorbing a little bit quicker. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because with bone broth, like you're saying, it's pulling it from the bone broth. So it's not that peptide process that we talked about in the collagen. Correct. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's not as fine of a breakdown. Your body will have to digest it and break it down a little bit. But again, it's it's bone broth is old school right. grandma's chicken soup, but you know, like yeah. tons of nutrients in there from yeah. the bones themselves, which is great. Um, but it takes a little bit more from our digestive system perspective to utilize the collagen in there. Okay. And then as far as like the process of the bone broth. So like you were right. saying, grandma's chicken noodle soup. Right. It, people aren't really making their own bro- bone broth as much because it seems tedious. It, it's a long process depending on the size of the bone. So fish okay. bones take... Uh, maybe 24 hours to make a bone broth from, okay. and you can make bone broth from anything that with bones. Okay. Um, beef bones take 72 hours. It's a long, slow cooking process to pull out all the collagen and mineral content right. from there. And a lot of people don't have the time anymore mm-hmm. because they're not at home all day. Sure. Right. Or they don't want to leave something on the stove for 72 hours straight. I get yeah. that. A lot of people do like a crock pot method where, you know, like there's less fire risk, but it's yeah. still an electric appliance. Absolutely. Um, those things don't travel as well. Because yeah. you can make big batches, True. but then you got to freeze it. So Powder's a lot, a lot of people are switching to the powder for convenience sake, especially for travel. Yeah. Well, and you can probably notice like how much you're actually getting from a powder versus if you're making it at home, it's you don't really know what right. you're getting. You don't know what you're getting. You are getting good quality stuff if you're taking the right time to do it. But a lot of people are like, right. oh, I made chicken noodle soup in 12 hours. You're not, not getting the all the good stuff from the bones okay. if you're doing it in a short period of time. Right. So there are options available, liquid, powder. Um, there's actually products out there that are like a bone broth protein type powder. So there's like chocolate, vanilla. So there's a lot yeah. of versatile ways to incorporate bone broth if that's more of your interest than just the collagen. Yeah, peptides. absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing those tips. We hope that was helpful for you guys when you're kind of looking at all of your options with collagen support and things like that. If you have any questions on collagen products or maybe a special way that you use it, leave it in the comments below. We look forward to seeing you on the next Fruitful Minutes.